Today, I'm taking my Salty 120 PDL out into sunny San Diego Bay. Actually, we've got a pretty heavy fog set in here. But today, I'm gonna talk about some of the fisheries that uh, are available here in San Diego during the winter time. Now, winter is definitely the off season as water temperatures drop and a lot of the bay's vegetation dies back. The fishing gets a little bit tougher, but there are still great opportunities to come down here and kayak fish. Plus, it's a great place to cut your teeth on saltwater fishing because it does have some of the, the dangers of saltwater fishing and open ocean fishing, such as uh, tidal influence, weather, commercial traffic, and things like that. But it's on a much smaller scale, much more manageable scale, and you're also very close to the boat ramp at most times. So today I'm taking one of my favorite kayaks, which is the Salty 120 PDL. This is sort of my favorite grab and go kayak. It's very simple. I don't have it tricked out like my Autopilot 120, which my fishing partner Sidra is going to be taking today. So fairly minimal. Um, I haven't made a lot of changes to this. Uh, I'm just running a lot of ram mounts accessories on the gear tracks, such as rod holders, my fish finder, which I've run through hole wiring there. And I just have a small battery Velcroed underneath the seat. See, I've added a small Burley Pro side bro here so I can carry some plastics and weights and then pliers and scissors right in here. And I've made a small adjustment on the seat handle of the back so that I can put a flag. It's a very foggy day, so we're gonna be running our 360 lights and flags just for added visibility. Other than that, it's a very simple kayak. That's why I like it, it's fast. It's a great kayak for moving across the bay very quickly and covering a lot of water out here, which is the key during these wintertime fisheries when fish are a little bit more spread out. So we're gonna be doing some trolling, some jigging today, Cassie Craigs, maybe Carolina rigging, just kind of throwing whatever we can at them. Definitely expected to connect with some spotted bay bass, but there's opportunities out there for California halibut. And since we're in the back of the bay, maybe even Bonito. Alrighty, let's get going out on the water. Okay, so water temps in San Diego Bay this time of year. Gonna be anywhere from the upper 50s to the low 60s. So immersion gear isn't really necessary unless there's a big cold snap. Which is one of the nice things about being down here in the wintertime. Enjoying some time on the water, not needing as much safety equipment. Let's get deployed. And rudder down. Here we go. Beautiful sunrise behind us. Fog starting to break. I'm gonna start by just trolling some spoons. We saw a likely bonito bust on the school of bait fish back there, but could not convert it. There is a resident population of bonito in the back of the bay, but they are elusive. Uh, but can grow to pretty big size. Three to four pounds. I'd love to connect with one today. So I'm gonna troll a spoon and a rattle trap. See what we can make happen. We're crossing the bay. Headed across to some uh, 10 to 15 foot deep channels on the other side of the bay, closer to Silver Strand. And you want to reference tides for National City for this part of the bay. It's a big expanse of grass flats, which are just loaded with spotted bay bass in the wintertime. And this area is potmarked, like I said, with channels as well as just some natural holes that are 10 to 15 feet deep. And in those holes, you can often find halibut. There's also purported to be a pretty decent sized bonefish population back here as well. There is a lot of grass out here, which is a nuisance for trolling, but provides a lot of habitat for the fish. And you'll find that the barren areas in the bay are a little bit tougher for fishing. There tends to be less fish concentrated there than in the areas where there's a lot of grass growth, especially the spotted bay bass. So I got a little uh, football jig head with a small kitex swim bait on it. These spotted bay bass and California halibut are back here feeding on small sardines, anchovies, jack smelt, 
and you don't need an oversized target. These fish are accustomed to targeting smaller prey. So I'm gonna work the edge of this shelf and then there's a channel off to my right here that goes from, I'm on nine feet of water here. It's gonna drop off 10, 15 feet. I'm gonna work that whole transition. So the area is just adjacent to drop offs. The flats adjacent to uh, drop offs are also really good areas to target fish. Because there's not a lot of natural reefs or anything out here. There's a few shipwrecks in the bay and bridges and such that you can fish. But really, structure here is vegetation and these drop-offs, these ledges. We'll see if we can pull in the first fish of the day here in the next few minutes. There it is, right there, second cast. <laughs> second cast of the day, I love it. This is probably gonna be a little spotty based on how it's fighting. Yep. These guys are the bread and butter of the San Diego fishery. These are spotted bay bass. They get up to 14, 15 inches, that's a big one, but the vast majority are gonna be in this sort of 10 to 12 inch class size but they are really really pretty so this is spotted bay bass very easy to identify by it's a robust uh, dorsal fin there and then it has this striping and lots of heavy spotting there's another bass in the bay called barred sand bass which inhabits the deeper areas along the channels typically 30 feet or deeper and it lacks the spots but has similar barring all right let's get this guy back in the water you can easily come out here in the back bay with a little swim bait like I'm doing today. And on a medium, medium light gear, you can have easily 20, 30, 40 fish days if you just want to target these spotted sand bass. But we're going to work some of the deeper channels with less vegetation, hoping for halibut sitting off to the side of that vegetation. Here's another bite. There it is, got it. <laughs> Fourth cast, another fish. Another spotted bay bass. A little bit more robust than the last one. I love these grass flats. Hey. Give me your lip. There we go. Ow. You got a little bit of teeth. Really pretty fish. Ow. So now I moved out into the bottom of that channel. There's less grass out here. So I moved off of that transition zone. That's why I'm not finding as many spotted bay bass. They tend to be up on top where there's grass, but down here on the bottom of these flats adjacent to those slopes, that's where the halibut will hang out. Now we're in the back of the bay, so this back of the bay tends to run a few degrees warmer than the front of the bay, which is why you'll get a larger halibut hanging out back here in the winter time. A lot of the halibut exit the bay, go out into the ocean during the winter time, and then come into the bay during the summer, which is why winter time is considered kind of the off season for them. But you can find big halibut back here in the back of the bay during winter. There we go, there's fish. Now one of the nice things about the fisheries here in the winter time is that you can catch many different species using basically the same technique. So it just really depends on where you're fishing. But you know, if you have confidence in jig fishing or drop shotting or crankbait or spinnerbait, you can catch halibut, calico bass, spotted bay bass, sand bass, and 
even bonito and other species all on the same rig so just fish whatever you're confident fishing and you'll likely come away with some fish oops there we go another spotty there we go there's fish now i would stick with those colors that really match the hatch so i've done best with uh, whites and blues silver gray uh, a little bit of flash doesn't hurt and for some reason every uh crankbait that i have that's had a little bit of orange on the belly has been producing a few more fish Ooh, this is a nice spotty a little more weight to it there we go that's getting up there a little bit bigger man what a pretty little fish if you like smallmouth they'll these will be one of your favorites they uh remind me of smallmouth in a lot of ways how feisty they are little bullies There's fish. <laughs> right at the boat. Got to fish it all the way back to the boat. Now the best time to fish in San Diego Bay every day is during the bigger part of the tidal swing. So you know, either if you have a big incoming or big outgoing tide. Today it's kind of equal. So it's not the best day to be out here. But definitely when you get water movement, that's when you're going to catch fish. See you later, buddy. Currents in the bay usually aren't too bad, even on a big tidal swing. Um, there are some areas of the bay that will get upwards of two miles per hour, uh, especially near the mouth and along some of the bigger channels where all the harbors are draining out of. But for the most part, during bigger tidal swings, expect currents around 0.7 to one mile per hour. And that's nothing that most kayakers can't handle. Oh, there it is. I saw something come up on those fish there. <laughs> Love it. The spotty was chasing those uh, bait fish over there. I keyed in on that. Cast over there. Back to back spotties. Yeah, at least largemouth have the decency to open their mouths and let you lip them. These guys. Tight lipped. See ya, bud. Get some serious bass thumb today. One of the things I love most about the Salty is just its speed. It's effortless to go three, three and a half miles per hour. It really is a zippy little kayak that will get you to places very quickly. You can cover a lot of water really quickly. There he is. Got him. Ooh, this feels like a solid fish. A little bit more weight to it. What do I got here? <laughs> yeah. He's all wrapped up. Nice big spotty. Dude, chill. Chill, bro. That was a big one of the day. Yeah, that's definitely the big fish of the day. Nice. That's a nice one. Woo. Check that out. Such a cool looking fish. Uh, little teeth will do a number on your uh, fingers. All right. Got a bite there. And hold on though. <laughs> I think I got a jack smelt here. No, I got something different. Yeah, I got a jack smelt. <laughs> These guys are really aggressive. This is a little one, but you can actually eat the big ones. They taste really good. That is a king jack smelt. See you, bud. Those things taste amazing. Very white, light, flaky meat. So good. They also make good bait, so... Bait and dinner built into one. Oh, there's fish. Nice. Now, there's lots of areas to fish the bay. Um, the South Bay where we're at today is really nice just for sheer quantities of fish. Just so many spotted bay bass. But there's also no traffic out here, so you don't have to worry about 
keeping your head on a swivel, watching out for commercial boats and naval vessels, which don't venture back here to these flats. But there's lots of great fishing opportunities right in the heart of San Diego, around the entrances to the harbors, where you can pick up a little bit more diversity, especially along the channels and out towards the jetty as well. You just have to be aware there will be quite a bit of boat traffic, especially after mid-morning and on weekends. There we go. Spotty. There he is, got him. <laughs> and the nice thing about almost all the places that you'll fish with the exception of the jetty uh, most of them are just going to be a short less than one mile paddle to the fishing grounds the jetty is about a three mile paddle so you do need to be prepared for some covering some distance on that one so you're gonna give me this back without eating the tail thank you little guy There he is, got him. Definitely getting close to my 20th fish of the day. There's another spotter. Little guy. Where's the halibuts at? Halibuts. There we go, there's a fish. There's a little halibut. <laughs> That's my first halibut of the day. Not a giant. That is a baby. That's a baby halibut. But there it is. Yesterday I actually caught one that was closer to 25, 26 inches in this, in this exact spot. So, but just a little baby halibut. All right, buddy, go back, get bigger. California halibut are actually just flounder. I don't know why they call them halibut, but they can grow to really big sizes here in the bay, and uh, they taste absolutely amazing. You do have to be aware, every afternoon the winds come up on San Diego Bay, so once you start to feel like that five to seven mile per hour breeze, and you're, if you're a long way from the boat ramp, you want to start getting our way home because it will build very quickly typically by noon or one o'clock it's uh very difficult unless you're in a sheltered place to fish you'll get lots of white caps all right so we had to get off the water due to the winds which is pretty typical most afternoons the wind's going to come up and blow you off the water but we had a great day today we caught double digit numbers of sand bass and some small halibut but no big ones but you're not going to get a big one every day. That's just how it goes. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And be sure and check out the blog on winter kayak fishing in San Diego Bay. Bye, guys.